appearances were given a lot of importance. How you look decided the amount of respect you received from other dinosaurs. Dinos respected strong and good-looking ones and denounced those who seemed weak and not so good-looking. A shrewd and cunning dino used Dinoland's shallow traditions to her advantage. She was so good-looking that everyone liked her a lot. Gaining their confidence was easy and soon she started luring them to her cave. Assuming that she was as good as she appeared, the dinos followed. Little did they know, they were her dinner. One evening she lured Sammy into her cave. As soon as he entered the cave, he smelled flesh and knew that something was amiss. Upon investigating, Sammy found out her ugly truth and escaped her cave to immediately inform the entire dino land. Shocked, everyone now understood how deceptive looks can be. Sasha's New School A new dinosaur Sasha had recently joined Debbie's school. Sasha had a spiky body and sharp teeth. She looked pretty dangerous, so everyone stayed away from her. Even after a few months at the new school, Sasha still didn't have any friends. One day, as Debbie opened her school locker, all her stuff fell out of it. Just then, Sasha was passing through the corridor. Immediately, she started helping Debbie. Startled at first, Debbie thanked her once all. Her things were sorted and Sasha gave her a warm smile in return. The next day, Sasha was invited by Debbie and her friends to eat with them. And Debbie confessed, My mom was right. We should never judge a book by its cover. We assumed you would be mean based on your ferocious looks. But you are so warm and helpful. And so, Sasha made her first friend at school. Pepper's Love for Food Pepper was a huge Brachiosaurus dinosaur who enjoyed eating a lot. Such was Pepper's love for food that she found it very difficult to say no to it, even if her tummy was full. Pepper's mother didn't approve of her eating habits and instructed Pepper to improve them many times, but Pepper never listened. One day her mother devised a plan. She offered Pepper something to eat every few minutes and obviously Pepper never refused. After a few hours, Pepper had overeaten so much that she started to feel sick. Sick and uneasy, Pepper looked at her mother and said, I know why you did that mom. I know now what overeating can do. I promise not to be such a glutton anymore. Mother smiled, hugged Pepper and said, Sorry Pepper, I had to choose the hard way to teach you this lesson, giving her medicine to get better quickly. Birthday Party Ricky's fifth birthday was approaching and he just couldn't control his excitement. Every day, he'd ask his parents about the cake, the gifts and his party. The excitement was such that Ricky started imagining everything about the day. He imagined it to be the best day ever. When Ricky's birthday finally arrived, his excitement knew no bounds. But as the day progressed, he started to get disappointed. Nothing seemed to match his expectations. Ricky's mom noticed his mood and understood what must have caused it. She stroked his head and said, Often we imagine many scenarios in our head about the future, but we forget how uncertain it is. We get disappointed when things don't go as planned. My dear child, remember not to think so much about the future that you ruin your present. Now let's enjoy your birthday. Ricky nodded and happily enjoyed the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.